I don't know about you guys, but I just can't get the music from the last episode out of my head. I just keep playing that concert back in my head, and... Oh my god, I love that music so much! It's my favorite soundtrack from the game, and it gets me so anxious for the end, and so angry at Porky that he had to spoil the concert for us. I just can't stop playing it back! Is it just me? Okay. I think it's about time we get started then, but before we do, I have a couple of things I want to correct about what I said in the last episode in regards to the trivia cards. Because it turns out I was wrong about a couple of things, and before I get too far towards the end of the game, I want to make sure that I, well, correct what I said before. So, first things first, let's find someone that will actually answer the last trivia card correctly which is the Pig Mask Major, the next one in the line. And I believe Boney still has Trivia Card 4, so let's have him use it, because this man will actually answer the correct answer, which is... The Civil War. And now we find out what it is that the Trivia Cards actually do. Essentially, nothing. We have nothing more, nothing less, and nothing new open to us now that we have answered all four trivia cards correctly. And in the fan translation, there may or may not be an additional line of text near the end of the game that tells you about a certain secret menu. However, we've had access to that all along, apparently. If we go to, in the pause menu, status, and quickly pull down L and R after we select it, we gain access to a hidden memo, which was cut out from the final version of the game, but it was available in the beta and was never actually removed from the game's data. So the fans' translation, the guys thought it would be cool to leave this in, and mostly status stuff and just insight into a couple of places and enemies, main characters that we run across. I'll only show off a couple of the ones that were, well, the ones that caught my eye anyway but you can go through it yourself. So, find IQ. I was wrong about what IQ does in this game, and I never actually addressed that, so that's the first thing I want to show off. It's down here somewhere. Intelligence, there we go. Intelligence or IQ is an indicator as to how strong your PSI attacks are in this game, and for some reason I didn't know that. I figured since Jeff wasn't in our party, IQ was meaningless since no one was going to fix my broken stuff. Needle locations, not only do they tell you where the seven needles are located, but they tell you what parts of the Dark Dragon's body are being held down by that particular needle. And of course, if we go to find where the location of the last needle is, no one knows where it is. Too bad. And last but not least, I'd like to show off... Where are you? Kindness. One of the most important things for humans. If your kindness goes up, something good is bound to happen. Again, more speculation onto exactly what it is kindness means, or what it was supposed to be. But, it's in the game, it doesn't necessarily do anything. And there may or may not be a thing on the memo itself. What you're reading right now is this memo. The history of the things you've experienced are automatically recorded in here as you go along. Be sure to check it once in a while, you may learn something new. Note that the menu wasn't accessible in the Japanese version. The translation team made it accessible because it's so neat. And because this is a beta menu, many of the things mentioned here didn't make it into the final version of the game. So there you go, that's the memo. Remember, you have to pull down L and R immediately after selecting it, not before. And now that we have all of that on the way, out of the way, let's continue up the Empire Porky building because supposedly at the top of this place is the one man, child, whatever, that's caused all the trouble for us. Next stop, 100th floor. Well now, this is uh, an interesting room. And there's a sign over here. Hippo launchers. Hippopotami that have been fancied up and equipped with powerful missiles, incredibly popular, even with women and senior citizens. Improvements to create household pet versions are currently underway. 
So apparently the 100th floor is a display for these hippo launcher things. This is the wonderful hippo pool. Here you can swim with the hippo launchers, gaze at hippo launchers, and observe hippo launchers eating. You can even fight them! That's dangerous though. How dangerous is it to fight a hippo launcher? Let's find out! These guys won't actually attack you unless you physically walk up to them and talk to them. And I'm not really prepared with a battle plan, so let's just go with the old-fashioned beat it up until it dies. By Thunder Gamma. We could use Star Storm, but I don't like using it too often because it uses way too much PP for my liking. And I am really off with my combos. Can you tell that I haven't played this game in a particularly long while? Yeah, I usually avoid the hippo launchers just because I don't like getting into unnecessary battles at this point. Especially if I can skip them. And, I mean, look, I'm running right into the darn thing and it's not doing anything to me, so I prefer to leave it alone. A super bomb! I'll give that to Boney after I rearrange items and stuff off screen. But for now, let's just keep going. I want to do research so bad. I want to research more and more and more. If only I had research funding, I could improve the hippo launchers even more and more. Would you like to know how I'd improve them? I'd make it so hippo launchers can brush their teeth on their own, go to the bathroom at night before bed, and fetch the newspaper. You know, those kinds of improvements. Those sound like really nice improvements. Pony, why don't you have those improvements? You don't do those things for me. Well, you do fight for me, and I suppose the hippo launchers wouldn't be very good at doing that. It appears that you guys appear to be suspicious guys. I, 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 I'll beat you up good. Go, go, get him, my hippo launcher. And we're thrown into battle with another hippo launcher. I'm not sure if this one is any more or less powerful than the one we faced. I suppose we'll find out. That's... I tell you what, of all the times I've used PK Thunder... It very rarely turns opponents numb, but I suppose it's because I only use it on bosses, and I don't really think to use it outside of major battles. Ah, my hippo launcher! Curse you, you'll pay for this! I highly doubt that, my friend. Stupid heads! Stupid heads! Oh well. I remember seeing a present up here. Ultimate shoes! Now these are obviously equipment for Duster. Plus 82 offense. Now if you see it drops our HP, IQ, and speed a little bit, but it gives us 42 more offense. So this is one of the few times where I'll actually de-equip a mystical weapon. It's a matter of preference, but I mean... 42 more offense, I just can't turn down it, even though the mystical shoes are mystical, you know? Can't turn it down. Is that a present? I'd like to get the present. I don't care how much time is wasted. Now we're wasting even more time. They have such cute butts. Don't you agree? I think you've been around the hippo launchers too long, my friend. Hmm... So many hippo launchers, and they don't attack you, so they really are the kind of enemy that you can sort of get to know. Because these guys, they're pretty peaceful, they're pretty cool, and now that you think about it, they do kind of have cute butts, even though... Actually, let's get a closer look at the butt. See the butt? That's a cute butt. Real chicken, nice HP recovery item there. And a cup of life noodles! Can't have too many of those. We bring you a breaking news alert. Some idiots have been seen pretending to be sea monkeys in the middle of a pond. <laughs> I'm talking about you guys getting all covered in mud so you can fight for your lives. It's so ridiculous. <laughs> all right, get on the next elevator. I think I'm going to sit back and watch even more of your stupidity in action. Come on, don't give up. You're so close to the real hundredth floor now. <laughs> I'm going to love voicing for Porky, even though I hate the guy with every ounce of my being. But if you couldn't tell, that really wasn't the 100th floor. 
So either the elevator is broken, or somebody is trying to play a very cruel joke on us. Next stop, 100th floor. So is this the real 100th floor? Either way, Fire Omega! Good for you, Kumator. The strongest fire spell in the entire game, and... Tons of sweets and presents are lying here. This is a gathering room for Master Porky's fans. Can you guys put your hands to your chest and say from the bottom of your heart, I love you, Master Porky? F*** no! Then quit lurking around and get out of here! <laughs> My job is tickling Master Porky under his chins! He has more than one chin? It's a little too much detail for me. How about some oxygen for old time's sake? Yeah, sure, why not? Let's get that beautiful pink screen one more time, and just for nostalgia, I will leave in the entire animation so you guys can reflect back on just how many of those were cut out when we went through the bottom of the ocean. These are Master Porky's favorite double chocolate fried pork chips. Those don't sound too bad, actually. Why can't we just let Master Porky take care of everything? No one person can solve all your problems, little lady. Your attention, please. We have a report of lost children. The detestable Lucas and his pals appear to be lost in Master Porky's fan room. Hehehe. <laughs> attention, Lucas and friends. Attention, Lucas and friends. Come to the real 100th floor immediately if you dare. <laughs> okay, you're really getting on my nerves, guy. Can we just get to the real 100th floor and not deal with all of these informalities, if you will? Because I'm getting sick of hearing this elevator music. Not the most soothing in the world, either. It's more... Oh, what's the word? Next stop, 100th floor. Eerie. Well, maybe. You know what? I hate to cut a video short, but this is my favorite... I know I said... Tantane Island on the mushroom trip was my favorite area in the game, but in all seriousness, this is my favorite, and I'd like to save it for the next episode. So, this is Universal Giant, and in the next episode, we'll take a bathroom break. Dead serious. <laughs>